Alright, so you are here because uh, we have to make some adjustment. We cannot do our virtual class as we expected or we are used to do, diba? So I am now recording this class session. I'm going to discuss the information communication technology. So now after the discussion, you're going to as we go or as we always do you're going to write your realizations and your or your learnings and I is a form on our Google link so after watching this video you're going to open again join again the link Google link and right there you put there your essay all right so that's going to be our scenario for now because of the internet problem because of the bad weather we are experiencing this morning all right so we continue information technology the information communication technology is very important in every walk of our life even in our personal life diva we cannot do such a lot of things without technology in short our capabilities is limited we cannot much that do some mobilizations we cannot do we cannot be more productive because if without technology now in ICT information and I stand for information in which information refer to the knowledge obtained from reading investigation and study or research so we can gain we can achieve we can access a lot of different informations from from our daily uh, no, living in uh, even in the real world we can gain a lot of information but we can gain a tremendous amount of information using such technology and we can use those technology for our own benefit diba? and we access we tend to attain those informations because we need to get be uh, no, benefited from that information that we have diba? so data gathering is very important also and not just any information but it should be the right and just information the correct one with the validity of the information that we possess that's going to be useful in our own life diba so that's why dili basta basta technology uh, informations atong i acquire we should be selective and we know the background of the information that we possess all right and information is we need information to make decisions and to predict the future so which is also i uh, know really true no for take for an example uh, any scientist can detect the formation of a tsunami using the latest technology right and warm warn the public to avoid th this such disaster in the affected areas so based on the data gathering using various technology using hardware and the scientists have this such algorithm to protect the the how heavy and how strong or possibly destructive the tsunami is so with the use of this information that we are talking about we can now predict or make decisions pertaining to what the future is coming to us especially in the disaster response that we are uh, no, in need due to respond to be more effective the response in this such disaster right so import import it's very important to, to have such information because it can save life we are talking about life here no so thankfully we have the such technology pertaining to accessing different kind of information especially in our environment information is knowledge and help us to fulfill our daily task definitely no this is very evident for all of us for example forecasting the no if you are in a world of stock exchange and this economics um, 
for example forecasting the stock exchange market using such technologies spe specific or specialized alg algorithm for such prediction is very helpful for us no just consider it in yourself no you, you, even your mic your 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 mobile devices it's really help you to fulfill to achieve your goal for the for your daily task no it's very important even to those household nga na may household na highly automatic jud every inch the corner of their house is very automatic usually run by artificial intelligence the ai they the ai can definitely turn or turn on and switch off the lights and can change the lightings the color of the lightings depending on the mood of the owner so the artificial intelligence will do that for them and even the room temperature they will adjust it so it's very convenient for them to do such daily tasks because of the such technologies diba? and also sa to upload eh, for such as us diba? we, the ordinary people we possess information given by the convenience that we have with these mobile devices and it can really help us a lot especially in trying to solve some mathematical computations mga basic lang we can use the calculator on our mobile devices in such we can do our task nice and smoothly because of the information given by our calculator on our data app or in mobile app diba have you experienced that one there is a there, there is a mathematical ano, problem even 1 plus 1 we tend to calculate that one to just to make it we are that that we have the correct answer we solve the 1 plus 1 on our calculator and also in other calculator nga scientific calculator we even use one ano scientific calculator just to solve 1 plus 1 and also use the pagita contento we use our own mobile device to solve what is the really answer because uh, Yes, we are we are traumatized by the complication of mathematical equations. Diba? All right, so that's information for you. So let's go for the communication. Communication is an act of transmitting message. That's correct. So there's a various of in on transmit way on transmitting information, but today we are doing in such in a modern way, and and back in the old days very primitive and very simple and it's very ano, time consuming in, in, in as such the, the informations transmitting in a very low a very low pace and it, it's very it took them a very long period of time just to receive or just to send s such ano, informations but now it's very easy because of our technology now so it's a process whereby information is exchanged between individuals using symbols, signs, or verbal interactions. Diba? Even in a modern way, now we use that emojis just to convey our message, no? We can communicate just doing or just sending and receiving such emojis. Diba? If we are angry, we have the emoji for angry. If we are sad, we have such emojis for that part of emotions of the human person. It's very impressed. But and we have such non-verbal, you know, way on transmitting information or non-verbal way of communicating other just through sign language, you no. Know? So or even just doing facial expression during. Uh, face to face interaction with other people. We do facial exp expression, diba? If we tend to send a message that we are angry, so we make face, diba? We are happy, we are sad, so we, may, we do such face. And we do gestures using our hand. So, in modern technology, we do, we can now do everything virtually using various devices. We can communicate effectively and efficiently with just split of a millisecond 
we can send message immediately despite of the distance of the person diba so that's how impressive it is previously people communicate through sign or symbols performing drama and poetry diba as what we are ano trying to tell you ano ganiha so oh this one no sign language even through art we can communicate or convey message so art is the highest form possibly is the highest form of, of expressing yourself no so other people cannot say express their words through words or even actions some people there are people who who can ex only express their only way of expressing their words or their opinion is through drawings or any such art so there are people there are people nga ing ana and there are people that they can send message they they can communicate through sending music music arts they can express themselves through music so there are different types form or styles of communicating or sending message and communication technology is very versatile it can accommodate some sort of communication technology is very universal it embrace everything diba praise most all all of the mode of communications besag visual they can we can communicate through visual even it's for thousand kilometer far ang inyong distance sa imo ang ano sa individual nga imo ang gisanda no so in a way because of this technologies communication is getting more sophisticated and way more effective so with the advent of the these technologies usually what I'm, what we said before older form of communication are less utilized and compared to the use of the internet email and video conferencing even the oldest form we can perform it into this modern way of communications but mostly we do communicate through various internet ano softwares and mga websites so we send emails if we tend to send a text informations even videos and videos or or pictures just to support your message and we have video conferencing with that we are using every time every mag synchronous class but we have the limitation just like what we experience right now i'm just recording the my discussion just for you to watch it up on your ano on our time because we cannot ano do it do the con the effect conference because of the internet problem in both end in my end and also into your end so so that's very important you know that's it truly shows how technology ano is well can adjust for every situation and every scenarios nga may experience on every client or ev us every users so communication is important in order to gain knowledge with knowledge we are more confident in expressing our thought ideas diba as gathering as part of data gathering or information gathering so through communi through communications or through gaining this knowledge we can effectively communicate now because we are more confident of the information we possess we are not we are not hesitant there's no fear in sharing your thoughts because of the validity of the informations or ideas or the thought that you have so you can freely express it diba? so with content now let's go with the evolution of communications so we are you, you are pretty much aware how the way or how you communicate throughout the duration of time even the way back all days communication has improved and evolved to facilitate our daily activities in 21st century everything related to communication utilizes technology to send out or disseminate information to a wider 
audience so we have because of these such technologies information can be sent out in many ways diba? through text video or pictures or video conference dili na siya not just like doing such in a face to face interaction so the invention of the cellular phones even televisions and other electronic devices are important in enhancing communications so mo add up lang na siya so this is very important especially the invent upon the invention of television mas ni widen ang scope ta ma disseminate ta regions nga ma reach out upon disseminating the information in which television is very useful in sending warning to any hazardous place diba connected sa atong gi discuss ganiha we the use of information we can now predict what is going to happen in the future especially if there is an upcoming strong typhoon or upcoming volcanic eruptions we cannot predict using those information that we have we can now warn other people through communication with the this various inventions such mobile phones and televisions we can telecast what is currently happening or possibly going to happen in the different place or the possible affected places so because of these inventions you know somehow we can save life you know, using the information that we have so other e electronic devices yeah, cellular, cellular mobile devices good mostly kitantana na naman eh. and important in enhancing communication that's w very important so with the evolution of communication turn back all days through writing and just sending it to the courier usually the pigeons because uh, pigeons known for I uh, know for their uh, location uh, ge geolocational capabilities that you no know, you know pigeon can eventually go home besides for for the this for the very long distance it's eventually go back home where it belongs so usually even in the times of war or in the ordinary days they use pigeons just to convey message so usually more means of communication nila. now it evolves in with the invention with the use of or manipulation no pulses no uh, invented of the Morse code so it just I uh, know with the it's a it has a specific code called the most the Morse code and a specific dot 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 the long on the line as yeah with it's represent for enough in uh, literally and uh, get a special letter jude so they use code just to send message so just like if you send the uh, and to seek for help so what's the code for in help so send SOS so there is specific code for S and specific code for O and another specific code for S so in automatic the receiving end will eventually get the message the SOS so it means someone is trying to ask for help so you know in the, there's a lot of codes in the Morse code that they can use so and it involves getting more complicated we have the telephones so in Morse code we can we can only receive some special code so we can, can transform it into text textual information in telephones we can receive both what audio audio probably only audio lang because it is telephone and it's much clearer and it's more realistic compared to the ano, older way of communications such pigeons and morse code so in telephone uh, we can hear voices and the voice of our loved ones is some kind of really realistic and with the birth of internet connection all right we can now communicate almost liberated the way of communicating well 
Ganon ni ingon mata liber liberated. Because usually, if you have those who has telephone can afford Morse code, can up can afford pigeons, these codes and telephones. They they can they are the one can only ano enjoy the beauty of this technology communication technology. So with the invention of the internet, so most everyone what's it disregard of your standard you can now f have can I enjoy the beauty of communications diba? especially with the invention of smartphone diba? so in the different ranges uh, there are mid-range smartphone that that every ordinary people port diba? as lower as a 6,000 or 5,000 pesos you can have the smartphone and have the important p features which can connect to internet access internet connection and can send message and definitely can call someone else right? so that's the beauty of such communication devices right? so that's how um, our technology evolved throughout the history of man and last part will be the technology uh, we, are, we we've been discussing this before that in a way we need to utilize maximize the beauty of technology for the sake of the humankind so technology is the use of any scientific knowledge experience and resources to create process and product that fulfill the human need so mostly all the basic human needs food we, knew, we use technology to to fasten or to increase the level of the productivity of the food that we are producing in crops even in livestock we use technology diba? to fulfill the human needs which is food technology uh, we build um, we invented um, internet connections to to feed our hunger for communications and what else tamaban in the world of medicine uh, we use technology to preserve human life to extend human life rather and technology is one of the most powerful agent of change in our society do you agree okay do you agree with this technology is one of the most powerful agent of change in our society all right your answer will be please add your answer please add your answer your answer of this on this question on your essay huh? and last is change come with technology and it is now moving as faster fa pace than ever so grabe kayo ang evolution of technology and every different uh, aspect of technology in military technology scientific technology information technology bio biochemical and, and even in astronomy grabe kayo ang fast forward almost every year there there are a newly discovered and developed technologies that is very ano that is ready to be used and embraced by the humanity all right so i would like to end this part on this so according to this if technology is well applied, maayo ang paggamit nato sa teknolohiya. It can be benefited humans. So mapahimus lang yun na sa mga katawan. But pero but if it is wrongly applied, kung sayup or dili sakto ang to ang paggamit sa teknolohiya, it can cause harm to human beings makadaot o makaguba kini sa mga katawahan. So that's why we should it should be utilized in a good manner a technology. Technology is very beautiful if it is well used. Okay? If not, it can harm human. It can cause human destruction. So, destruct po ng humanity kinsa man po ng sila sa tua. Human man po dito we fail to use technology in a good manner.
alright so that's that's it I would like you to go back to your Google link and write your realization and what you learn from our discussion in a essay form you write your essay for Google link alright see you thank you so much for listening and watching the video goodbye